more than 25 million Americans watch the United States women's soccer team win for the third time soccer's most coveted title. The Federation Internationale de Football Association FIFA World Cup. Now, this thrilling victory was the most widely viewed women's soccer game in our nation's history. And Americans are proud of this impressive victory. We applaud these world-class athletes for their contribution to our nation's legacy. Anybody walking by the road by our farmhouse the night of that event, we had our windows open, they would have heard Marcel and I just screaming with joy at the uh, victory. But as celebrations fade, we should be all troubled by the way FIFA discriminates against some of the teams that compete in the World Cup. The United States women's team will receive $2 million for winning the Women's World Cup. The 2014 Men's World Cup winner was awarded $35 million. In fact, men's teams that lost in the first round of the 2014 Men's World Cup were awarded $8 million, four times more than the champion U.S. women's team. And the reason for the extreme disparity, gender. So I'm introducing a Senate resolution the calls of FIFA to immediately to eliminate this discriminatory prize award structure. Opponents of an equal prize awards in sports point to revenue as the reason behind this disparity. But revenue shouldn't be and cannot be accepted as a means for discrimination. In fact, they ought to ask how many people watch the women's soccer team. Most teams would give anything to have that viewership. The 24 women's teams that took part in the tournament are role models, not just to women and girls, but to men and boys across the globe. The World Cup champions should be rewarded for their performance, for their grit, for their teamwork, rather than devalued for their gender. Nelson Mandela, a person I met often and admired so, once said, sport has the power to change the world. Well, sports bring us together in our communities and on the global Stage. They remind us what we have in common. They inspire us to dream and push beyond every boundary. This weekend, millions of people watch American tennis star Serena Williams win the women's final at Wimbledon. That's marking her sixth championship at the All England Club. And the next day, Serbian tennis star Novak Djokovic won the men's final on the very same court. Both of these athletes competed against the very best players in the world. And they were awarded the exact same amount of prize money for the impressive victories because Wimbledon chose to be on the right side of history in 2007 by ensuring pay equity for female and male athletes. You know, years, for years, tennis champions like Billie Jean King and Venus Williams fought for equal treatment for the future champions of their sport. So I hope that the story of the American Women's World Cup champions not receiving fair treatment will inspire more people to join the fight for equal prize awards. And with the resolution I'll introduce, let the Senate be on record in support of fair treatment for all World Cup champions. As we urge people to change this policy, just as the All England Club did years ago. You know, the fight for gender equality continues. Madam President, it's a fight worth winning. In 2009, I proudly voted for passage of the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act supporting Senator Mikulski's Paycheck Fairness Act. We've had a lot of civil rights fights in our nation's history. The battle for true equality has persisted for too long. Let's join together. Let's send a powerful message of equality to those who aspire to one day become a champion. Equal pay for equal work should no longer be an ideal, but instead the reality for all.